breaking news, the fix is in, at least according to Toyota, just releasing its plan to repair more than 4 million recalled vehicles. We have the details. President Obama releases his proposed $3.8 trillion budget for 2011, and it's dripping with red ink. We'll tell you why it's being attacked from both the right and the left. Ten Americans accused of trying to smuggle children out of Haiti will appear in court today. They say it's all a big misunderstanding, but will a judge buy it? We'll speak with their church leader. And it was ladies' night at the Grammys. We'll see who hit all the right notes on the stage and on the red carpet early this Monday morning, February 1st, 2010. Day of February. Good morning, everybody. I'm Maggie Rodriguez. And I'm Harry Smith. Good morning, everybody. We're watching a developing story this morning. We've just learned that a single engine plane has made an emergency landing on the New Jersey Turnpike. So far, we don't hear any reports of injuries. We're watching the story and we'll bring you the latest from the news desk in just a moment. But we want to also get down to the business of this Toyota recall. Breaking news this morning Toyota has just announced details on how it plans to fix its huge recall problem. CBS News National Correspondent Jeff Glor is in Rockland County, New York with details. Good morning, Jeff. Thanks, Harry. Now to the latest out of Haiti. This morning, 10 American members of a Baptist church are expected to appear in court. They're being held for allegedly attempting to take 33 children out of Haiti without proper documents. Haiti's prime minister has called the group's action, quote, illegal trafficking of children. CBS News correspondent Bill Whitaker reports. Me. All right. Erica Hill is at the news desk. There's a lot going on this morning. Erica, good morning. Good morning, Harry. That's right. We're uh, getting some more information on the story that you and Maggie mentioned off the top of the show. That single engine plane making an emergency landing on the New Jersey Turnpike this morning. You're looking now at live pictures of that area on the New Jersey Turnpike. We're told there were two people on board the plane. Police say it was actually handling traffic reports for a Philadelphia TV station. The good news no one was injured. In Los Angeles, talk about a record breaking night for the ladies at the 52nd annual Grammy Awards. Both Taylor Swift and Beyonce walking away with multiple honors. More now from Early Show special correspondent Damian Fahey. <laughs> No woman had ever won six Grammys in one night until Beyonce. Her hit single ladies was among them as song of the year. You know you broke the record, right? I have been told. I am so happy. But the biggest award of the night went to Taylor Swift. At age 20, she's the youngest person ever to win Album of the Year. I just remember holding it and thinking, that's a Grammy. That's unreal to me. It's like, it's like stutter worthy. I'm gonna carry them as long as they let me have them. A 3D tribute to Michael Jackson was an emotional musical highlight, ending in heartfelt words from his son, Prince Michael. Through all his songs, his message was simple, love. Damian Fahey, CBS News, Los Angeles. And Dave Price standing by now with our first check of the weather for the morning and for the week. Did you stay up late, watched every I did. moment? Pink number. Did you see that Amazing. when she was spinning around? I hear she learned it all from you. It was, uh, well. Welcome back to the early show. Coming up. We'll see in red. Mm -hmm. Air marshals are considered our last line of defense against terrorism. I recently got an inside look at how they are trained. We're going to take a look at that and talk about how their agency is suffering from some serious internal problems. Also ahead this morning, we're talking to our Dr. Jennifer Ashton about what to do if your child gets sick. Jen is at home right now with a sick child, and we're going to find out what we should all do in similar circumstances, because we've all been there. But first, it was ladies' night at the Grammys. Taylor Swift won four trophies, including top prize, album of the year. But the night really belonged to Beyonce. She took home six awards, the first woman ever to do that. Early show special correspondent Damian Fahey caught up with the superstar one-on-one -on -one and joins us this morning from Los Angeles. Good morning, Damian.